Disney movies have delighted families for generations, from Snow White to Moana. Yet for such family-friendly fare, these films often show characters with a lack of at least one parent. Hi folks, and welcome to The Binger. Today we'll try to answer one of the biggest questions surrounding Disney films. Why are so many Disney characters motherless, fatherless, or both? First off, let's look at the numbers. Is the trope of parentless characters in Disney movies as prevalent as we've been led to believe? Author Leanne Morris looked at the data from the entire Disney library and asked the question, how many Disney main characters have a deceased, missing, or single parent? She found that out of the 104 animated films distributed by Disney since 1937, 56 fulfilled the criteria. Translation, more than half of all Disney films had a main character with at least one parent out of the picture. Out of the 54 films produced by Walt Disney himself, 35 had a lead character with at least one missing parent. That's nearly two out of every three! Compare that to the 15 Pixar films distributed by Disney, where only five of them had a lead character with a missing parent. The legendary Japanese animation house Studio Ghibli had seven theatrical films distributed by Disney, including Spirited Away and Howl's Moving Castle. None of them had a lead character with an absent parent. Just in Spirited Away, they were pigs. Little piggies. So the data would indicate that this trope is strong in Disney films, especially in those helmed by Uncle Walt himself. If this trope is so prevalent, the question remains, why? In cases where both parents are absent, sometimes an older sibling must step up and assume the role of parent to a little brother or sister. In 2003's Brother Bear, eldest brother Sidka leads his younger brothers on a hunt. The brothers return to the tribe, but their parents aren't mentioned. When Sidka loses his life in a fight with a bear, Katai swears revenge on all bears. Katai finds the bear that took out Sitka only to have Sitka's spirit transform him into a bear to teach him a lesson. In other cases, the oldest sister must step into the parental role. In 1953's Peter Pan, Wendy becomes a type of mother figure to the Lost Boys. One major instance of this trope occurs in the 2002 film Lilo and Stitch, when six-year-old Lilo and her teenage sister Nani lose their parents in an auto accident. Nani must become a parent to an energetic Lilo. In the worst case, the loss of parents can increase the alienation between siblings. In 2013's Frozen, Anna and Elsa's parents separate them after Elsa's powers over ice and snow manifest themselves. When their parents perish in a shipwreck, the tension reaches a breaking point between the sisters. The loss of one or both parents can highlight both the inherent love and instinctual rivalry among siblings. This tension can act as the fuel for powerful stories, at least until they learn to just let it go. Y you get it? Yeah. In many Disney films, the main character's absent parent is often the mother. In both Snow White and Cinderella, the main character's mother has passed away or is missing. The father later remarries, and the lead character becomes the target of jealousy from a wicked stepmother. This lack of present mothers and the presence of evil stepmothers ties back to the fairy tales Disney used as his main source material. According to Jack Zipes, author of Happily Ever After, Fairy Tales, Children, and the Culture Industry, the passing of a mother during childbirth was a fact of life during the Middle Ages. Women passed away frequently from childbirth, said Zipes. Therefore, there were many single parents, although men tended to marry quickly after their wives died, as in Snow White and Cinderella. The theme of absent mothers in Disney films extends beyond traditional fairy tales. Many of the works Disney used as source material feature characters with deceased mothers. In The Jungle Book, the tiger Shere Khan takes the life of Mowgli's mother. In The Hunchback of Notre Dame, Quasimodo loses his mother at the hands of Frollo. Most famously of all, the title character in Bambi loses his mother when a hunter guns her down. The answer may come from the source material Walt Disney used in his early films, traditional European fairy tales. Disney would use the basic plot line from these stories while cleaning up the most unsavory details. Disney's first full-length animated film, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, was based on the German fairy tale. In the original tale, a queen gives birth to a girl but does not survive childbirth to see her newborn daughter. The girl's father, the king, later remarries. The girl's new stepmother becomes so jealous of the girl's beauty that she orders a huntsman to take the girl into the woods and eliminate her. The huntsman takes pity on the girl and allows her to escape into the woods, where she finds a home with seven dwarves. The jealous stepmother eventually finds her, and while disguised as an old crone, feeds her a poisoned apple which puts her into a coma. In both the traditional and Disney's version of the story, Snow White wakes up, marries a prince, and lives happily ever after. Like many of these fairy tales, the main character loses a parent and must overcome that loss. 
Walt Disney used the audience's familiarity with other fairy tales such as Cinderella and Sleeping Beauty to illustrate these tropes. While so many Disney films feature absent mothers, some also include main characters with fathers who are absent, deceased, or distant. In Dumbo, Mrs. Jumbo takes care of her floppy-eared son, but Mr. Jumbo is nowhere to be seen. In The Hunchback of Notre Dame, Quasimodo is raised by his mother. His father is not around, presumably abandoning mother and child after seeing his son's deformities. Well, until Frollo, that is. The most memorable example comes from The Lion King. While Simba's father Mufasa makes an impression on his young son early in the film, the older lion loses his life at the hands of his jealous brother Scar. The loss of his father spurs Simba on throughout the story as he attempts to fulfill his deceased father's legacy. Of course, after spending a few years avoiding it with Timon and Pumbaa. In each of the stories mentioned here, as well as those involving missing mothers, the main character must often get through the story without the parent of the same gender. Most female characters start the story without their mothers, including Snow White, Cinderella, Belle, and Pocahontas. On the other side, male characters such as Simba, Quasimodo, and Dumbo lose their fathers. While there are exceptions to this trend, many of these stories feature parents and children of opposite genders. The struggles that they endure to love and understand each other often makes for great storytelling, another reason why so many of these films are considered classics. Pixar, Marvel, and Star Wars The trope of main characters dealing with the loss of parents isn't limited to properties that got their start at the House of Mouse. It also extends to other story settings under the Disney corporate umbrella. While Pixar films aren't always known for the deceased parents trope, many of their stories feature characters with absentee parents. The Toy Story series follows young Andy as he grows up. While his mother is a recurring presence, his father is nowhere to be seen. In Finding Nemo, the title character's mother becomes the victim of a hungry barracuda. Many major characters in the Marvel Cinematic Universe also cope with the loss of parents and parental figures. In Captain America The First Avenger, Steve Rogers tells an enlistment officer about how he lost his parents at an early age. In Captain America Civil War, Tony Stark watches a video recording of his parents' demise from a car accident engineered by the Winter Soldier. In the Spider-Man MCU films, Peter Parker is raised by his Aunt May, with no mention of his parents and scant references to Uncle Ben. And nearly every major character in the Star Wars universe, from Anakin in the prequels to Luke in the classic trilogy to Rey in the current films, deals with missing at least one parent. It's almost as if Disney's trying to corner the market on single-parent or parent-less lead characters. While many classic films feel like they have an epic scope, what they don't often have is an epic length. Most Disney films clock in at under an hour and a half. These shorter running times present a challenge for the writers. How can they tell a big story with huge adventures and captivating characters while keeping their young audiences from getting bored or fidgety? In a 2014 interview with Glamour magazine, longtime Disney producer Don Hans cited the loss of a parent as a storytelling device. Disney films are about growing up, he told Glamour. They're about that day in your life when you have to accept responsibility. Simba ran away from home, but had to come back. In shorthand, it's much quicker to have characters grow up when you bump off their parents. Bambi's mother gets gunned down, so he has to grow up. Belle only has a father, but he gets lost, so she has to step into that position. It's a story shorthand. This shorthand can save time in establishing another vital relationship for the main character. It also points out an emotional void in the character's life that they must fill, which prompts them to go on their journey throughout the story. As Don mentioned, most Disney films are about growing up. Another reason why Disney films feature characters without parents is that the loss forces the characters to take on more mature roles in their own lives. Without the traditional stable family life, these characters are forced to go on journeys of self-discovery and make the transition from innocence to independence. Bambi loses his mother, and his father is too preoccupied to care for him. He must learn how to survive in the forest, find a mate, and evade the predatory hunter known as Man. In The Lion King, the loss of Mufasa forces Simba away from his family and on the path to reclaiming his title as leader of the pride. In Meet the Robinsons, the loss of his mother spurs Lewis to invent his memory machine to search his memories for signs of her. His knack for invention draws the attention of Wilbur, who takes Lewis into the future to meet the family he'll eventually create for himself. The loss of a character's birth family often leads to them getting adopted into a different kind of family. This displacement can set them on a different path to maturity. In both The Jungle Book and Tarzan, a young human child gets adopted by a family of jungle animals. As they mature, they each have to adjust to being outsiders and learning if they have a role in the human world. 
Although Walt made it his mission to create stories of triumph and happiness, his own life was not so full of fairies and magic. Disney suffered what was then known as a nervous breakdown in 1931. Debts built up during the Great Depression, a split from his brother Roy, stress from overwork, and his wife's miscarriage led him to walk away from animation. After a lengthy break, Disney reapplied himself and produced Snow White in 1937. A few years later, Disney used the proceeds from his success to buy a house for his parents. The house used a furnace fueled with natural gas. Instead of hiring professionals, Disney sent some of his crew from the studio to fix the furnace. Unfortunately, the repair job went wrong. A gas leak occurred overnight, and a housekeeper found Disney's parents unconscious in the living room and pulled them onto the front yard. Disney's father survived and was hospitalized. His mother passed away, presumably from carbon monoxide poisoning. The prevalent lack of parents in many of Disney's films could be a coincidence or a storytelling device. It could also be a way for a son to deal with the loss of his mother at the peak of his success. So what are some of your theories as to why so many Disney characters are missing parents? Let us know in the comments. Also be sure to like this video, share it with your Disney fan friends, and subscribe to The Binger for more videos like this one.